you know, I don't, I don't know the right way of saying it, but it's like we have so many examples of high performance envelopes, even utilizing a typical double glazed unit with maybe multiple coatings or maybe just uh, mm -hmm. proper detailing and, and, you know, implementation of an air barrier and uh, tight compression seal windows and just yeah. execution of details that it's like we're, we're looking for almost like the quick fix or something else to introduce right. if not needed. That is actually a really good point. I think if you talk to a lot of um, consultants, they would say, you know, we, we already have pretty good what they call clear field. So good opaque panel, good opaque uh, and good transparent, um, you know, fenestration performance. But what we're missing is all the thermal bridging and the air leakage around the interfaces. And we have not spent enough time plugging those holes. It's kind of if I think about a dam, right? If you've got a few massive holes in the dam, it doesn't matter if you make it wider or taller, it's still leaking, right? Yep. So you got to figure out how to um, fix the holes in the in the dam first. So thermal bridging, really big issue, and around windows, right? I mean, the position of the windows in the opening, um, and to make sure that you have the continuous uh, air barrier, continuous thermal. Um, uh, a continuous thermal plane. Um, so you know, I, I think you're absolutely right. We we haven't we haven't dealt with those details yet. And it comes to also in in commissioning, have we really got the quality control process down right? Are we doing enough commissioning? Are we doing enough quality control through the construction uh, construction process to make sure our air leakage is under control? and make sure that um, we've dealt with all those um, thermal bridging issues. And then we can start making the windows better. Or Maybe introduce triple glazing at that point, but we don't need to right. start with it potentially.